Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, the day has finally arrived. Uh, manga subscription services now are going to use AI to translate their content, which means localizers are no longer needed. Um, I mean, I love that. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Now this dropped on April 1st, so we weren't sure if it was April Fool's or not. Are but we no, sure it's not? It's not April Fool's. Okay. This is uh, actually, we've got people reacting on Twitter and look, um, this is just the way things are going to go uh, from now on. I don't think everybody's job is going to be replaced necessarily by AI, uh, but Western localizers haven't made a very good case for themselves to stay employed. In fact, they've caused a lot of damage to companies. In fact, we're going to kind of dovetail with uh, Funimation shutting down. Today's the last day that Funimation... They are, yeah, they already changed everything over. To everything's everything. changed over to Crunchyroll now. I mean, it's still basically kind of sort of the same company, but they're going to use this as an excuse too, I think, to get rid of a lot of people that have caused them a lot of problems, a lot of them being translators, localizers, uh, Western voice actors, English voice actors, a lot of people that frankly uh, aren't necessary current year to connect American audiences with Japanese and products. And the problem is they did it to themselves. Yes. Because they had to take it so far and to use it as their own personal, you know, platform. Yep. And then because they did that, where we're at now. Yeah, pretty much. So these Japanese companies have to be looking at like one, it's the expense and two, it's well, it's also the expense of, of losing business because you're turning your, your product over to people that want to insert their own current year politics into it. And it's not just about making a better translation uh, overall or making a translation that, that gels better with Western audiences because they might not understand the references or whatever. Nine times out of 10 current year, it's they want to insert their own political talking points into an existing work. Or they and, want it change to be something that, that they find more palatable. Not right. Not right, the audience. Right. So let's, uh, let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. Guys, get woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Uh, Silicon Era has it. Uh, two books. Corona EX manga subscription uses Google AI translation. So they announced its Corona EX service will offer English manga translations, both done by publishing partners and via Google Translate. This is a paid subscription service. It's going to cost $4.50 to use. So to find out how the translation is done, someone would need to look at the series pages. For example, product listing for The Weakest Tamer. I love these titles. I love these titles of these, these series. I know, I know, the right? Weakest Tamer began a journey to pick up trash specifically has the seven seas entertainment logo and a message that reads all stories in this work is translated by our foreign partner publishers. Meanwhile, the sword woman with the curse, not with a curse, just the sword woman with curse is handled by Google translate and AI. So here's a product listing. Let's take a look at this. So this is the weakest, the weakest tamer began. A, God, I love this. Yeah, here we go. Attention, all stories translated by our foreign partner publishers. Okay, so they put it at the top so you can see if you're getting AI or not. Okay. And this one has uh, translated with Google. But is there a noticeable difference in quality? Is there? Once upon a time, the continent was done after May War. I don't, they called this period, I'm <laughs> sorry, after many wars, humans find temporary peace. They called this period the, the peace, peace period. period. <laughs> Okay, well, that might just be how corny it is. Uh, Curse Seal, who was described as both a hero and a demon lord for generations to come. Wait, I'm sorry, I, I read it backwards. There's a female swordsman who traveled through such times. This is a story of Alphys, the female swordsman with a Curse Seal, who was described. I'm sorry, I read it like an American. <sighs> anyway, I know, I know, bad me. Noob, noob. I was looking at my phone and wasn't paying attention, sorry. <laughs> You're just like, I'm bored already. This is, <laughs> this is like, I, I'll be honest, though. As as lame and generic as this is, it's still probably better than some of the translations. At least you know you're getting a literal translation as as uh, cheesy as it is, right? Um, but there, yeah. So yeah, you got to look go, now. Oh, okay, go ahead. You want to read more? I don't know if we're going to no, get no, dinged for okay. this. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I don't want to read more. It's okay. You're good. Master's liar. Master's liar. It's supposed to be lit. Layer. Layer. Master. Oh, no, change liar. it. Good. I don't know. I don't know. Don't read more. I'm on a 
how many times do we meet face to face? Having said that, drink, okay, whatever. I don't want to read too much. Um, anyway, so yeah, there we go. Google Translate, guys. There you go. Actually, this article, this article feels like it was written with AI. Two books noted that Corona EX manga uses Google Translate and AI for translations will experience two types of issues. What? The official facts page noted there will be errors. And it said bonus well, yeah, material won't Google be translated. Translate, yes. People will only get the base manga chapters. Right. In this case, the official translations from companies like J Novel Club, Seven Seas, or Tokyo Pop may contain other stuff. So basically, yeah, it's not great, but it is a step in um, that direction, which is the direction is the door on the way out. That's mm -hmm. the direction that a lot of translators are going to be pushed in. Um, so this is just a couple hours ago. We got some reactions. Respectfully, I do mean that. Uh, AI translated manga would be a net positive. Not only would we get official translations faster, I don't know. So <laughs> like a little dodgy to me. More people could potentially have access to it. Uh, there's no interacting with things in the AI realm like this. It's worse than the awful manga we got 30 years ago. It wasn't that great, but it's going to get better. I knew uh, AI translations were coming. They're just as bad as they sound. And like manga is easy to pirate and scan late. So I'm not paying them for this. Uh, what's appalling to me about this is that they outright some of their chest out. You can give us $5 for inaccurate well, translations. Well, that's kind of true, though. Like, is this the original announcement? Yeah, this is the original announcement. Wow. Um, automatically translated by Google AI. Yeah. Like, yeah, at that so point, I'm like, I mean, they're not wrong. Yeah. Uh, they really have fumbled the ball. $5 is a lot for inaccuracies. I, I can't believe we're at a point now where I, I'm just going to point this out. To get legal manga translations for five bucks, or you can buy a 32, but not even a 32, 22 page Western comic <laughs> for, for $5. But, That's you know, true. But, it probably but, has typos because the, the editors aren't paid very well. But, you know, they're like, it's going to have a lot of inaccuracies. It's not even an actual direct translation. Yeah. Well, Viz, I mean, Viz, you get, you know, it's like $5 a month, I think. We pay for Viz and you've got, you know, all their stuff. But this is what's going to happen, though. I mean, at least they're saying, where the translation came from, right? What is going to happen within a couple of years? It's not going to matter. I think these companies are going to go basically direct to consumer and they're, they're going to be like, yeah, you know, we want to make sure that our stuff isn't being fiddled with. So even if the dialogue is wonky, it's better than having somebody rewrite the mm -hmm. whole damn thing, you know? Yeah. And it's going to get better and it's going to get better and they're just going to, yeah, going to be able to direct to consumer it. Yeah. Yeah. And this is Google AI. I mean, they're going to, they're going to get better and better and better. They're going to use a lot it. of your stuff to train it. And then, you know. Yeah. But the use of Google Translate, most recent Japanese works can be delivered quickly, fast, bodes well when even the press release is not written. Well, that article sounded like it was written. Actually, no, it wasn't written with AI because if it was written with AI, it would have actually checked the grammar and it didn't even do that. Um, yeah, so that they're just trying to get this stuff out as fast as they can. But I'm telling you, they're doing it because they want to get rid of the people that have caused damage, I think, long term to the manga and anime industries with their political hot takes. So let's talk about one such company, and that's Funimation. Funimation is shutting down uh, technically. As of today, this is not a drill. This is not April Fool's. They're becoming crunchy roll and they're getting rid of a lot of stuff too. Um, but uh, yeah, that's going to be made. Not, I can't believe it. 1994 to April 2nd, 2024. That's it. They're done. Uh, the two AMA giants converge. Uh, expect to lose access to purchase Funimation content. They said they were going to try to come up with a solution for that. Uh, I know we have some Funimation content, but... Um, yeah, when are they shutting down today? Will I need to make a Crunchyroll account? Yes, you will. Will I lose access to my purchase Funimation content? Surprise, you don't own any digital content. Wait, uh, that's what it says on there. Oh, yeah. This from the, the, okay, this isn't actually there. This site. is from okay. and this is from some website, <laughs> AndroidPolice.com. Like, wait a minute. No, yeah. but they did. You they bas they basically said you don't own it. And, and it's probably in the fine print when you did it. Yeah. Anyone who purchased or redeemed codes for premium digital Funimation content will lose access to that on April 2nd. Everything you bought over the years will be gone. And you can thank Sony for that as it doesn't want to add paid content to Crunchyroll. Now they said they were going to try to come up with a way to compensate people, I think is what they said. They never said you're going to get your stuff back. They'll probably be like, oh, we'll give you a free month of 
Crunchyroll or yeah, something. They never said what it was. This is a while ago they said this, and they never actually They never it, said. Right? Yeah. They says Funimation closes Crunchyroll's offering a big closeout sale on physical items, so grab it while you can. I would suggest doing that. A streaming price is going to go up. You know it. I like this article. Yeah, they are. Uh, yeah, they are. Remember, Crunchyroll started out as a pirate site, by the way. I think a lot of people forget that. Crunchyroll was a pirate site, and then they went legit. And now they're like the only game in town. Now they have more gold. Now they have more gold, yeah. Uh, will all Funimation shows transfer to Crunchyroll? Uh, no, not all of them, especially the ones you pay for. Am I going to lose my watch history? Yeah, you have to start over. <laughs> Um, I like. I love this. So what's the real damage? The realization that trusting digital platforms with our purchases is a fool's errand. Yeah, I am worried about we have hundreds and hundreds of movies on Vudu. And Vudu just changed its name again. They did they? To Fandango at home. Yeah. And I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop, which is, you know I what? Out you were the one that wanted to put I it know. On there I know. I foolishly. And I, I admit, I was incredibly stupid, incredibly naive. I was like, man, I'm getting tired of looking at the shelves and shelves and shelves full that of DVDs. That is true. There was a lot so of So many DVDs. Yes. Can't, wouldn't it be great if we could just take all those DVDs and turn them into digital files and then just, you know, watch them and not have to bust them out of the case? And yeah, it's great until they take them all away or they change them, which they did with like Back to the Future 2. They actually edited Back to the Future 2. And uh, yeah, so it's like, yeah, if you want the copy you want you're gonna have to buy physical but um the reason partially i think that uh we're in the state we're in right now and that they're maybe choosing Crunchyroll over funimation is because there was damage done to the funimation brand by a lot of their translators a lot of their localizers uh because of the vic mignana situation i think that was a huge blow because funimation was like the brand in animation for years but for them to to pick Crunchyroll over funimation means that they're trying to wash their hands of the situation there was a lawsuit. Uh, a lot of their their uh, people came under attack because of you know fan baiting and all that. And uh, here we are, guys. Here we are. Uh, so we're gonna wrap this one up. Oh yeah. There we go. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.